conflicts have been eliminated, life restored, health restored completely, tornadoes have been dissolved in midair, severe storms have been calmed down to a spring shower, people have been spared any damage whatsoever right in the pathway of over 100 mile per hour winds, some people have become millionaires while others seem to live in lack and lose everything at times. Proof of this is all about you. If you will just open your mind to it, we can see the apparently good religious people suffering all kinds of illnesses from simple backaches to cancer, while others of the same religious belief enjoy good health and success. We see also those who have no religion at all, including those who claim to be atheists, enjoying good health while some of the others of the same belief are sickly. We see those who seem unworthy to us enjoying financial successes one right after the other, while others who seem much more worthy to us living in lack. Those who have bad habits living in both good health and poor health, happiness and sadness, the good life, or a life filled with the miseries. Some seem to live in good luck all of the time, while others experience the opposite. Some almost make it at times, and something always comes along to disappoint them, while others seemingly without effort succeed in everything they decide to accomplish. Some are nearly always frustrated, while others are calm and relaxed. Some are nervous, tense, and under one pressure or another, while others accomplish their daily tasks in a more relaxed manner and with much enthusiasm. Some live in fear of everything and everybody while others do not. Some have problems, difficulties, and trouble most of their lives through while others live a virtually trouble-free life. Doesn't this begin to indicate to you that certain mental approaches must be made to ensure a more favorable living condition, a more favorable result. It should indicate to you that we must decide in the mind for the solutions to all of life's problems. In this world of ours, nothing happens by chance alone. Color, nationality, worthiness, morality, or religious belief of the individual have no bearing whatsoever on how he lives in this life, whether it is a favorable life or an unfavorable one. It is the attitude of mind that produces ill fortune or good fortune, accidents or protection, the good or the evil, and so forth. The mind power is a complete service, servant. Absolutely no favoritism between people, and it produces whatsoever is requested without criticism, advice, guidance, limitation, reservations, or judgment. It does the work according to the attitude of the individual, because nothing happens in this world of ours by chance alone. All people control their life and every experience in it by the attitudes contained and maintained within themselves. Every experience is merely a manifestation of a decision which becomes a command to have it brought forth. The Father doeth the works, simply means that your mind follows your instructions, your will, your decisions, your attitudes. Your wants, desires, and needs can be filled if you shall decide. You can make the mind work to please you in every way, and you too can master all situations as you prefer, control others as you prefer, have your innermost desires become a reality, make even your most daring personal dreams come true, if you will but possess the attitudes of mind for these things. If you will but possess the attitudes of mind for these things. The mind will do the work without fail, because nothing is beyond your reach when you believe in your powers of mind and decision actually believe that whatsoever you may want of good for yourself and or others, the mind and its incredible power will produce it for you. You have the key to happiness, good health, and prosperity in this life 
when you actually believe that the mind conscious within you will obey your every decision. All of the good in your world can be yours when you become aware of this godly presence and decide without reservation that you can have all of the good that you desire.